Okay, so Botania, I actually wanted us to, you know, move you on talking about um culture shocks that you experience when it comes to transportation. Let's talk about the culture shocks when it comes to harassment, because that's the only way I can tag it. When you move around in public spaces in Lagos, mm. you can easily get harassed. That's the truth. You mm. just like for example the market. And that's why a lot of people run away from the market. But you know me now, I'm a market girl. I like anything I want to buy. Most of it's good. I want to touch it. I want to feel it. I want to I want to test it. Touching I want to size it. Please, please, please. I want to <laughs> make it uncomfortable. Okay, so I, I go to the market basically and a lot of people don't do that. But when mm. you get into the market you next thing lots of people don't do that a lot of people shop online tiny people sell you know Okay. When you go to the market, the people you are meeting are people that are selling. A lot of times, the buyers want to buy online. People okay. don't want to move around like that. Mm. I'm just the only one going into the market these days. But when I go in, the next thing you see, someone is dragging you. Ah, my color. Um, my daughter. <laughs> my daughter. Come and buy what I'm selling. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just horrible. Oh like, they like... literally drag you. See, but if you go to what, the north, it ex- doesn't happen like that. It does not. But People have... respect that. Or oh, people are not serious with their business. See, let me tell I you. I don't think it's about not let being serious with your business. Let, I, I, well, do, okay. I, do I look like I don't have facts to back up my, my claims? Yeah, I have, and I'm going to drop it down low for you. <laughs> okay. So I feel like, yeah, there was, okay, let me tell, let me start with this story. When I got to, when I got to Yaba, yes, Yaba was one of the first places I went to in Lagos when I moved. Hmm. I went to Yaba, or more. <laughs> when I left, I was scared and I had PTSD. Because, you see all these Igbo guys that used to sell clothes. My color, you won't buy jeans, you won't buy na t shirts, you won't buy, you won't buy. What say you won't buy? If somebody like literally and you look at my small frame, I don't remain anywhere. Oh, look at me. This is all I have. And some one big guy <laughs> All I have is given to me what, by the one Lord. big guy with jean <laughs> on his shoulder is dragging me to no, come and sit in my shed. I don't want to buy jean, nigga. I don't want to but, buy but, jean. But that's bro. the truth, but that's the truth. Apart from that, you know, you find out that even people selling, you know, mm. sometimes they're not very, very um what's the word now they're not very very honest you can get to a man's place you say ah please you have black jeans say, yes have it now come <laughs> he'll take you now you walk and walk and it's walk in my shirt it's with my second shop when you get there this man will bring out pink shirt this is it now <laughs> and you'll be like how do we go from black jeans to pink I think, shirt so, well, then, what's their, going on in their defense if they tell you i don't have you might just leave them the plan the, so plan, the plan is to make is you to buy on, the plan is to go and show you something the other things they that have you may <laughs> need but you don't know that you need it yet <laughs> But if you go to the north, none of that happens. You just walk into another shop and you're like, oh, please, I want to buy. And they'll um, be honest. They'll be like, oh, no, I don't have that, it. Funny, funny enough, in the north, yeah, that's not the only thing that the people are honest about. In the north, they're generally just more honest. In, in this in this south, let's just say goes, ha, you just have more, you just have more and more reasons why you're, you're so on your toes every minute. Even yourself, you're still devising, ah, if a criminal does this, I will do this. You know, do you let, let talk. So, but then in, me, in yeah. the north, yeah, people are honestly, if a northerner opens the mouth and say, most of them, please, not all of them, some of them are, <clears throat> yeah so most if, of them if, if they tell you if they tell you if they tell you um this is the last price take it from them that's the last price mm. but you see in this you see in this lagos that i'm living in <laughs> in this lagos that i live that i am an inhabitant of they will tell you it's 2500 they will para for you you don't even, you cannot haggle if you haggle the price too much so they, see some of these um eco market women they will tell you they're not selling again that you should be going that they're not selling again and they have like two thousand naira gain on what you want to buy and they don't want you to have mm. and so they will ah, i'm like that's another major cultural shock nobody, nobody can tell me anything and it, it, i think it happens also in the east though it happens in the east things are so expensive in the east anytime i travel they are so expensive in the east i'm like ah what's going on it was cultural shock for me and i'm an evil girl can you mm. imagine because i lived most of my life in the north from the, the north. north i moved i didn't i've not really lived in the east i visited a couple of times but i've not lived in the east when you go to the east things are so expensive and they add so much gain on i'm like kilo day but the easterners in the west and the north they want to sell out most of them want to just they want to sell in bulk and like make a little prompt profit they don't want to hold it in their hand but because they think things are scarce somehow 
in the east, especially in the villages and everything. Mm. They now start hiking the prices. And my like, kilo thing could calm down. Is it because it's Christmas? It's December. What happened? Tiny, another thing that me have noticed, apart from this, you know, thing about prices is mm. when it comes to having fun, right? In the north is different. The north is you know majorly quieter. So when we, when I was in Abuja, we had only rocks. You know, you want to go and visit. Oh, the only activity or the most of the activities you could do is hiking. You wake up in the morning, you, you start climbing. Yes, yes. I, I've done hiking. Then you climb yeah. up and enjoy, you know, the views and everything. I'm gonna bust it. You will never see right beach. Now. Do you see? Do you used to see beach in the north? Do, uh, no. There's hardly beaches in the north. So if you want to, you want to enjoy. But then beach. you are saying that um all all they have is hiking. Who you are? Who is hiking? All you guys have. Wait, wait. All you people have. Well, I'm saying that. <laughs> even the, say we have rocks. Mm. I have never hiked in my life. Are you serious? And I'm telling you, who made you hike? <laughs> I love it. I enjoyed it actually. You did? Yes, I did. No, I don't like sun. No, I don't. I don't like. No, you should. No, but the the hiking is just like a morning activity. So you just you know go up. And it's then... for people that want to lose weight. Do you want me to vanish? <laughs> anyway, I would say that. I would say that. That's why. That's the reason. Yeah. After I started living in Lagos, I was like, God, how am I going to go back to the north and go and live? Eh? Why? Because how the hell am I supposed to party? Oh my god! Like, they know. They, have you been to Yoruba party before? <laughs> they know their music is on another level. Have you been to like an Igbo part? Like, have you been to Potako parties, like worry parties before? But how are Northern parties like? See, they're very, very. Is this is like they're so dry? Sorry. Oh my god. And I'm mean, also a girl. Leave it. I was born to do that. And see, I can't even deal. Their their um their idea of fun is so it needs reshaping. Oh my god. It needs gosh. to be taken to the mechanic workshop. I don't oh agree with you, Tiny. What do you mean? I don't see, agree with you, Sha. Really, see, if in Abuja, you're talking about Abuja. Okay. And okay. Abuja is a little central. It's north. It's just like how Lagos is central somehow mm. to the south, right? Yeah. So, it, I mean, we're talking about Abuja. Abuja is a... To me, it's kind of a no man land okay. because they ha- they, you have a lot of people incorporated. You have so many people living in, mm. like the the abuja that we're talking about and so if you have friends if you have money you know you can find cool spots to be at abuja right if you Mm. have friends yeah see but this lagos with your google map with your with your like uber you will find spots even if you don't know anybody you can have fun in lagos just google where to have fun in lagos that's true and you uh, don't get me but it's not achievable in the north it's not <laughs> just come to my kd come to my kd you're gonna sit in your house